All right, we are recording. Here we go. All right, and welcome back to the Good Morning Show special segment with Susan Heider. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. How are you, how are you guys? We are good to go. Yeah. We, we missed you the other day with the buttons. Yeah, I know. I we'll apologize. Have to repeat it, or you'll have to watch the video. I uh, will you, have to watch that one again. Okay. Well, we've got we'll have we have the clip already uploaded, but we need to repeat it one day. Not maybe not in the next couple in the next couple of sections or whatever that we do, but let's wait a month and repeat the buttons because I think that's timeless. Oh yeah. So yes. okay, we'll do that. Well, I have needles and needle threading. Okay. And you told me the other day you couldn't do it. Yes, that um, usually, if I have to sew on a button, which I have done that a couple times in my history, not very often, but I needed to, the timeliest thing and the most hassle was getting the thread and the needle. That's true. Uh, we have all kinds of tools. Um, I did bring a guide that tells about the different needles. We're going to talk about the mm -hmm. different needles first. Cool. And what you want to do is have the needle for your job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you have a needle that doesn't work for your job, then that's, you know, if you're trying to go with a uh, dull needle into through leather, it right. won't work. So the needles come in different lengths and different sharpness. And the um, size has to do with how big the needle is. So uh, a size one needle is bigger and longer than like a size nine. And I'm going to let Josh get a few So the lower shots number that. is a larger needle. Right. Okay. I'm going to jump like, up Just here. like in doctor's offices. The, oh, I didn't know that either. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to jump up here and get some tight shots of all your wares there. Okay. But, Let's take a look at that. Um, these are all things you can use. Well, these are all needles and, and then some needle threaders. 2.8 on the F stop, please. Go for it. Okay. Well, we have... Home repair needles, and we even, they have a bunch of different kinds. And I will have this document on my website that you can download. So you can, so can get the whole guide to hand sewing needles. Here's the guide. Switch it to uh, A, Josh. Switch it up. On the, there you go. There we go. There you go. And I'll have this, this on our website where you can download it. And it's hand, hand sewing needle guide, and it, it is put up by um, Sewing and Craft Alliance. Um, but there are bunches of different needles, and here's here's a little bit of a list, oh, and nice. showing some of them. Okay. Here we go. We're close there, and there's all different sizes, and big sizes wow, here. Wow, ribbon, uh, ribbons require quite the uh, quite the needle. Well, look at look at the eye on the um, on the ribbon needle. See the um, the eye. I don't know if you can on there. So That's you, pretty good. Pretty big, pretty big eye on there. Yeah. Wow. And then of course we have the home. Well, it, it's home and repair, and there's a there's a carpet needle and curved mattress needle. Wow. And um, all different ones. So you have different jobs. Yeah. Upholstery needle. Then this one's a sail needle, and I don't know how many of us make sails these days, but. Um, <laughs> I do want to show the sail needle because I do not have a leather needle that you can see because the one I had at the shop was a little bit small. But see how it's trying. I don't know if you can see it's triangular. Oh, yeah. It's got sides it's not, to it. It's not round. Right. That's what a leather needle looks like. Uh, okay. So your leather needles. Uh, 2.8 on that, please, Josh, as well. The leather needles have um, the points like that. So it goes through the leather easier and it does not cut the leather but um what you want to sew a um, button on with unless you're unless you're going to do leather is a betweens or a darner the betweens are the sharpest ones and and uh i don't know if you can see the sharp on there or not yep and that's what you want to sew the um buttons on with Okay. Um, tapestry needles have big eyes, and a lot of us would be tempted to use those because, hey, we can get the thread in there real easy. Right. But look at the points on them. Look at the points on them. 
They're, wow. they're dull. Yeah. So kind they're, of, they're kind used of rounded. For, yeah, they're used for tapestry, which is like on a canvas. Mm -hmm. So it goes through the canvas, but it doesn't tear the fabric. So the bi the biggest thing is is make sure you have some some sharps or darners, and they come in packages like these with a, a bunch of them in there. Nice. This one here has two different sizes, and the eyes are not terribly small. Mm -hmm. You get to some quilting needles though, and I don't even know if you can see the eyes on these. Now, do you have all those at your store? Oh, we have everything you could possibly want, and if we don't have it, we can order it for you. Nice. Um, the neat thing here, and I don't know if we can get close to this so you can see this. Oh, let's see. I got This is a, and Josh said as soon as he walked in, my grandma had one of those. Yeah. <laughs> and which way am I here? There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, this is a cutter. Oh, wow. Okay. little blade. Um, you can put your spool on here or you just put the thread through here. So this little notch has the thread, and then you take your eye, and you want to kind of line it up so that the eye is, so the thread goes this way. So you're going to put the needle in, and I just stuck myself, but that's all right. I was going to ask you how many times that happens, like, <laughs> uh, on a daily basis. Well, yesterday, actually, the worst thing I had was a paper cut, so. Ooh. And you kind of, it, it's a little easier when the, the spool is on here because you get a little bit of pressure. And you push this through. Of course, it's you've got to make sure your eye is turned. And I did it three minutes ago just perfectly fine, and now I'm on TV and I can't get it to work. Let me, let me take my needle back out. Well, actually, I got it. Oh, nice. And, of course, I have my fingers in the way, and you're not seeing. No, that's okay. But, we can see it. But there we go. We're th threaded. Nice. We got two of them through. And you want to go ahead and just pull one the rest of the way through. And we're threaded. That's pretty cool. Let me see. Hold on. That's, me, cheating. Get a... That's cheating. Well, you want that to see cheating. cheating? You want to see cheating. All right. Here is cheating. This is an easy thread needle, and it says right on there, easy thread or self-threading. And I know with the camera, it might be hard to see what the thing looks like on the top. But it's got a little Josh. notch Punch in out. it. You just pull it in there, and it's threaded. What, you pull oh, it through? It's got, a notch. it's got a little notch. I don't know if you can, if we can get close where you can see the little notch or not. Uh, hold it down just a little bit. Like that. All right, let me, you see that, uh, that angle right there? If you look up at that monitor. So okay. you got, you're on that side there. There you go. Of course, now I can't get it unthreaded to show it again here. Yeah. If you maybe um, lay it down on the white there. It'll show up a little bit more in the letters on the table. There we go. Let me get on the on the white. Yeah, right there on the. Let me get another one here and. Can you see it? And move that uh the pin cushion back just a little bit. This. Uh yeah, the other way. There we go. All right. Can All you right. see that? Can you see the way it looks like? I see the little notch. Yeah. So you have your thread. And you just put it in the notch and you're threaded. Oh wow! Yeah, that is. That's super... cheating more than that. That's more cheating. Yes. And there's some people that come in all the time. Do you have self-threading needles? They actually make one like that for a sewing machine. I haven't tried sewing on them because I can imagine it might, might the, would catch I was about to say, the thread would come out maybe or catch on something? Um, well, the, you know, with the little notch here, when you're going this direction, when you've got hand sewing, I can I can see the notch wouldn't catch. Yeah. But the I looked at the self-threading, and they look like it might would um, catch. Right. But uh, that's pretty nifty. You can wow. do that real easy. You just go like that, go in your notch. Of course, now I'm trying to hold it for the camera, and I can't. There we nice. Go. Yeah, you can see You're it. threaded. Done. That's Done. pretty cool. And there's um, needle threaders, all different kinds. And these are called Loran. It's the brand, but people will call these and these lo and these Loran. Um, they're for, um, let me get this, they're mostly for the bigger needles, and I have a, um, a group from a church that comes and gets these for their oh, older wow. group, okay. and that you just put it in there. Just catch the thread and, and pull it through. And you can catch the thread or the, the, the yarn or whatever, pull it through. 
th these are really neat for older people because they have a harder time. Of course, I've got four things, but see, it pulled it through. Nice. So these are for like the bigger things, yarn, thread, tapestry, embroidery. And these are for little, little, Probably little. Very inexpensive too. Um, the, these are a little bit more expensive than these. These you can get sometimes for 50 cents a piece in bulk. I've got them in packs of three for $1.99 or something like that. But these, the little wire just goes through the needle. And see so your wire's through the little hole. Nice. And you get your into your thread and put it through the wire and pull it through and we're threaded there. Easy. So anytime you have needles, you need to have a needle threader. And the neat one about this one is it's got your little knife at the other end. So, okay, so when you, you get it. ready to cut your thread, you just go like that and it's cut. Easy. And the last time I checked, these were still legal on aircraft. Because oh, okay. you can't bring scissors on aircraft. Right. So these, you know, like if you're sewing and you're, you know, you want to take your handwork, these had the little built-in thread cutter. Nice. So we've got, of course, there's always, when you need it, oh. magnifying glasses. Ah. This one's a lighted one, but, you know, the older we get, the more our eyes need magnifying and, and help. Um, we've got little packs of needles. You got all kinds of needles that you can get and all kinds of uses. And any use there's out there, they probably have a little bit of a specialty needle for that particular use. Very cool. And uh, what is your, if I, if you had to pick on uh, one style of sewing that you, that you prefer to do only because of the type of needle that you get to use, what would it be? Probably ribbon embroidery. Really? The one that we were looking at? The yeah. big one? Okay. Why, why, why? Well, I, I like, it's artistic and I have an okay. artistic flair. Um, you know, I do quilting all the time, and I do a little bit of art, art, artsy quilting. Yeah. But if I had, if I, if I had nothing else to do, and I didn't have anything else to do, I would probably either do ribbon embroidery mm -hmm. or cro count a cross stitch. Ooh, could could you explain that real quick? Okay. The ribbon embroidery is you have the ribbons and you make flowers or or whatever they look they end up look like flowers, and count a cross stitch is you have a fabric and you have a pattern. And there are little X's on the fabric, and you make little X's with embroidery thread. Uh, and okay. you count, you know, like you have so many blue for part of the sky and, right. and you know, little eyebrows picture. or whatever. And sometime down the road we can do, do a little demo it's on It's kind of like uh, of paint by number, but it's... Kind of, but yeah, you, you count the X's, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes they do come painted, the... the uh, Aida cloth comes painted, and right. then people can just feel the colors in. So you but, just feel, follow the pattern, you end up with a pretty yeah. cool picture. Nice. Well, my question was, um, a lot of times the little kits, the little emergency sewing kits or right. the, the handy kits at home, right. they'll have one or two needles in them, but uh, you don't know what needles they are. Would you suggest— Usually in those, they have the sharps that are, are good for repairing buttons and, okay. and that kind of sewing. And, and see, the sharps, you can use those for whipping a hem in or— so okay. those emergency little kits are usually sharps. Okay. And they usually have a little bit bigger because they know that whoever gets one of those is probably not going to be skilled with the, the smaller needles. So we have this little, I don't know if we can see it still, but we have the little teeny, teeny needle, and there's actually even smaller than that for quilters. Wow. So. So uh, do any of those little kits that you have come with a needle threader they usually in the kit? all have a needle threader and you okay. may go home and find yours and say oh that's what that that's is what in that there. thing is because <laughs> some people look at it and they say well what is that that's kind of cute it's got a person's face on it but they don't know what it's for but if you if you go home you probably have it in your in your kit and you just never knew what it was for there you go interesting i'm, I'm learning something every time she comes here and I want to put this up here real quick. If you folks out there want to learn a little bit more, you can go to hiderhangout.com. And uh, she is located in uh, the beautiful uh, downtown Cleveland area, right uh, over from the, uh, I guess they call it the, the town. First Street Square. The it's First, First Street the Square. The First Street Square. Mm -hmm. um, next to Trailhead Bicycles mm -hmm. and across from Catch. That's right. So, and behind the museum. That's mm -hmm. right. 
And uh, well, we appreciate you coming in to show us this. Uh, do, you, do you have a preview for Monday? Preview for Monday? You have any requests? Oh. Oh, yeah. Let me think. Well, I missed the button thing. I, we can't do that again. No, I, not, we'll, not, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do we'll, it later we've on. We've kind of covered the extent of my sewing needs in yeah. my, oh, my life. How Let's about, how, how about sewing on. a ham on? You need to sew a ham. Yeah. Ooh. Repair, emergency repairs and sewing a ham mm-hmm. up. When I was little, my mom would use masking tape just to get me through well, the day. And if, then you, get... <laughs> if you do that, if you're out running out the door, you can use right. masking. Ma- Scotch tape doesn't work real well. Uh-huh. But masking tape, staples, I've seen people put staples in, but sometimes the staples ruin the fabric. Sure. I've, um, I've had all kinds of things people okay. have put in their fishing line. What? <laughs> but we'll, we'll do that on okay. Monday yeah, and, emergency and show hems. you how to, if you've got a hem that you've got partway out or out or whatever, we can at least partway whip it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for coming in, Susan. And uh, we will see you on Monday for emergency hems. Right. Yes. This is going to be awesome. All, All right. right. We will see you on Monday. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Joined for generations. Hyder Hangout, Quilt Fabric and More in downtown Cleveland is all things quilts and much more. Hyder Hangout stocks a vast selection of beautiful fabrics from upholstery to evening wear and will special order hard to find items. Find all the accessories to make any project fun and easy. Hyder Hangout offers expert instruction with classes for the beginner and the advanced. Ready to show your style? Get to Hyder Hangout, Quilt Fabric and More, 219 First Street Northeast, downtown Cleveland.